Before this video begins, I want to take the time out to do a quick disclaimer for you guys. When I first got my Elgato capture device, and I got the RCA to HDMI uh, output device, I wanted to do this game for quite some time, but I was unable to do so because my original copy was messed up. And because of how worn out it was, because of negligence with certain family members that I will not name, I could not play the game uh, fully unless, of course, I managed to restore the disc. Tried to clean it once, it worked okay, but then afterwards, it started to act up again. So, yeah. But thanks to the power of Duck Station, which I'm about to use right here, I am now able to fully utilize the game for my viewing pleasure, and I am able to relive it. So yeah, for you guys, this is an LP that has been a long time coming, and I hope you will enjoy it. I'm not going to say the name, I'm just going to let the title play out. So yeah, but anyway, I'm, pr I'm proud to do this LP, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. This is a game from my childhood. Thank you, and enjoy. Welcome to my new Let's Play project. This game is called Tail Concerto and it is a game from my childhood that I hold near and dear to my heart. I am your host Leo Hightower and I'm going to be taking you on a magical anime like journey through the world of dog people and cat people in this lovely LP project. <laughs> 
I'm so happy to be able to do this game, and I'm very, very happy to bring it to you guys. Originally, my game disc was messed up beyond control to do this, but thanks to the power of Duck Station, I'm able to do this. So yeah, <laughs> thank you Duck Station, and thank you Works uh, Internet for allowing me to download this game and play it. But I think I've talked long enough and everything, so let's get started with this. We're going to start a new game, and I'm going to be quiet during the cutscene, so yeah. Anyway, let's get started. Why are you crying? I'm not crying! This might cheer you up. I don't want it! Okay, then. Well, if you insist, then I guess I'll have to take it. Okay, then. Here, take it. <laughs> Porto. Now that's what I call a good night's sleep. That dream reminded me of... of... Oh well, never mind. I've been looking forward to a day off for a long time. How am I going to spend it? I wonder who that could be. Hello? What? The Black Cat's gang is attacking Rosaka? Packs of kittens are tearing up the town? Yes, sir. I'll be right there. There goes my day off. It's a dirty job. But some dogs gotta do it. It's made of several floating islands and home to many dog people and even a few cat people. Prairie was built upon the ruins of an ancient civilization. Many relics have been found around the land. These relics are very precious because they hold mystical powers. They are a part of our heritage and a very important part of our daily lives. We know very little about the ancient civilization that preceded us or how they perished. Nor do we know much about the artifacts they left behind. All we are left with is a big mystery. Rosaka Harbor What was that? Could that be the Black Cats gang? I should talk to the locals and see if they have any information for me. But yeah, anyway, this is our main character. His name is Waffle. He controls a police robo that will allow us to move across the various areas. We have various controls. We can grab items or enemies and shoot our bubble blaster to capture enemies yeah we're not gonna shoot at innocent civilians or anything like that we use our bubble blaster to capture everything so yeah anyway let's talk to this guy hey are you all right uh, ah my warehouse darn those black cats look at what they what look at what their bombs did Woof! if I had known I would have thrown them back at them before they exploded. With the Robo's long arms, you should be able to capture the kittens easily. Then you can transport them and the kittens to headquarters. I wonder how that works. But yeah, in this world of prairie, there are dog people and cat people for the most part. 
and we as the police force are trying to fight the Black Cats gang as they always cause havoc. They're the local ruffians. The kittens are vandalizing the warehouses. Hurry up and capture them, please. To enter a warehouse, stand in front of the door and press the action button. But yeah, anyway, we have to capture the kittens who are the ruffians and controlling the black cats gang. Get near the kittens and capture them with the action button. If you use the bubble blaster on the kittens, you can capture them easily. Ah, Whistle! Waffle found Whistle. When the police robo is damaged, she can use, use the Whistle to repair it. And that little jingle means that we have captured all the kittens in that warehouse. But yeah, we basically run around with the bubble blaster, and then grab the kittens and transport them to police headquarters where they wait interrogation, for the most part. And that little green gauge at the top of the screen represents our health, basically. If we run out of health, we cannot use the police robo, and we have to use the Whistle to continue from where we left off. Those kids are throwing bombs. I better watch out. You can pick up and throw the bombs and barrels with the action button. I'm gonna throw this bomb back at this kitten. Well, almost. And if you notice, the barrels, some of the barrels are hopping. That's because there are kittens inside. Grab the barrels and toss them. And we captured all the kittens in this warehouse. Alrighty. But yeah, this is one of my favorite PlayStation games of all time. In fact, this is one of my first PlayStation games I got back when uh, my sister got me a few games for it. Those were Metal Gear Solid and this game. And other games I played and rented throughout the time that I've had this PS2. I mean, PlayStation. Try throwing the bombs at the kittens above. Hold the action button down and a guide will appear on the screen. Ha <laughs> ha, excuse me. Use the B buttons to look up. You can aim a lot easier. Alright, I captured all the kittens in the warehouse. So now we've captured all the kittens in the warehouse. House. So now I think we can explore the town basically. But first let me see. Oh, there's a health pack. Health packs restore your health up to 100. Uh, I believe the health recovery items are a dog bone and dog food, which will replenish your health for uh, various, uh, you know, uh, uh, meters. Officer, you captured all the kittens. I wasn't sure or what would happen, but you saved us. No problem. Ah, what's this over here? This is another collectible. It's not mandatory to get all these, but... You can find a piece of a photograph, and once you've found all four pieces, you complete the, uh, uh, pu uh, picture for that specific album, basically. You've captured all the kittens. Thank you. 
thank you very much. And, uh, the wine barrels are okay, right? What? Uh, sh sure, of course. <laughs> By the way, I saw three cats in an airship heading toward the ruins. I think they're the leaders of the Black Cats Gang. The ruins, huh? Yes, the ancient castle floating above Rosaka. You can get there using the elevator in the tower. So that's what we're gonna do then. But first, I'm gonna take a look inside this building real quick. There's another photograph. Hey, I found a piece of a photograph. Anything in the dresser? No, but some more dog food. Hey, and here's another picture. Uh, photograph piece. But yeah. When you go inside small houses, it's always important to check some of the uh, dressers and stuff because you never know exactly what's in there. But anyway, let's continue on. Central Plaza. That must be the ancient castle. The Black Cats Gang and their leaders must have headed that way. I remember someone telling me I could take this elevator to the top. Yeah. What the? Yeah. Yeah. Eh, they drew graffiti all over the darn wall. Eh, silly little kittens. There we go. You can damage the kittens' vehicles by using your bubble blaster. But you can also toss the uh, bombs back at them if I'm right. Which is what I'm going to do. Eh, gotta be careful, though. Ouch. Ow! That got one! the bomb down too long so it blew up in my face. Stop on it. I hate that. And there we go. Hey, this kitten was carrying something. Waffle found a bag of coal. Alrighty, that takes care of those little kittens. So now, this door is locked. I can't get in. So we can't go inside some buildings, so okay. But yeah. Look at the little graffiti that they drew. A fish, a little kitty, a sun, and a flower. <laughs> Unbelievable. Frank Lodge. Here's another photograph piece. Hey, I better not catch you throwing my furniture around. I can't really complain if it's for an investigation, though. Don't worry, miss. I don't think I'm going to be tossing all your furniture or anything, so don't worry. I only needed the piece of the photograph anyway. <laughs> oh, gotta be careful. If you fall off a ledge, you're going to take significant amounts of damage. But anyway, let's grab these bones and replenish our health. There we go. Oh no! Just like that. So yeah, <laughs> gotta be careful. Let's go inside this building. Hmm. Hey, this kitten was carrying something. Waffle found a toy doll. Hmm. A toy doll, huh? And over here? More dog food? And another piece of a photograph. I found a piece of a photograph. Okay. 
Oh, there's another one over there. Let me grab it real quick. And it's another whistle. Good. Whistles are basically the continues for this game. Hey, I found a piece of a photograph. This piece completes one of the photographs. I'll put it in my album later. Yeah. The photographs aren't really mandatory to get 100% in this game, really. They're just a nice little collectible. What? It won't open. It's locked. So yeah. <laughs> but regardless though, it is a good idea to get all the photographs and everything, so yeah. Excuse me? Uh, the engineer sighs as he watches the fire in the boiler burn out. The black carrots stole our coal. The boiler won't work without it. If you want to use the elevator, you'll need to find some coal. Is this the coal you were talking about? Waffle hands the coal to the engineer. Yeah, this is it. Wait here. I'll turn the boiler on right now. The engineer tosses the coal into the boiler. You aren't supposed to put that much coal in at once, are you? Trust me, it'll be fine. This should keep it going for a long time. I... I hope so. Yeah. But anyway, we can use the elevator now, so let's use it. Ruins. Hiding in a box and waiting in plain sight? Yeah, right. Heh. <laughs> and you? How are you, Officer Wobble? If you want to report to headquarters, please use my radio. Okay. So yeah, the way you have to save in this game is to use your uh vehicle to save, or if you find Panta, you can use his radio to who sent a message to HQ, basically. I'm going to save right here, actually. And I'm going to overwrite my existing save file. And now we continue on to the ruins. Huh? I hear voices from behind the door. Crystal? That was easy! Let me see! Oh, let me see! Oh, wow! It's beautiful! Flair, did you wash your hands after you ate that candy? Hey! You idiot! You got chocolate all over the crystal! You must be the leaders of the Black Cats gang! Freeze! You're all under arrest! What?! Who do you think you're talking to? Oh! You... you're... And you're... Hmm, so these are the three leaders. There is Alicia, the one with the eye patch, Flair, the one with the cute little pants and the yellow bandana, and then there's Stare, the one with the blue. Hey, 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 well, what's going on? Is that you, Alicia? Shut up! I don't know you! Don't you remember me? You lived next door to me when you were eight years old. Hmm, so there's some history. Hmm, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll show you what happens to people who mess with the Black Cats gang! Flair, Stare, are you ready? Yes! Sure. Okay, boss time. Here I come! They're in their giant balloon, basically, and 
now we have to toss the bombs back at them. Don't want them to grab me, because if they grab me, they're gonna toss me up into the air. Their main method of attack is going to be throwing out bombs at us, such as these remote control bombs that have cat faces on them, and of course throwing out their usual proliferator bombs. After a while, the cat bombs will, will explode. They'll grow large and explode at you. But all we have to do is use our bubble blaster to take out the robots, and of course, toss their bombs back at them. This is a pretty simple boss battle. Not bad for a first, first impression. Ow! Oh uh, yeah, I almost forgot. If you hold down the L1 or R1 buttons, you can uh, move forward or back up, basically. Use that bone to heal myself. But yeah, this boss is actually pretty simple. It's not difficult in any way, shape, or form to beat. And if they grab you, they pick you up and chunk you. And it does a considerable amount of damage, so yeah. But like I said, this boss is actually not that difficult in any way, shape, or form. It's only difficult if you make it, make it, you know? So yeah. Oh, that was a good toss, and that is is the Black Cat's blimp. And now the three sisters are gonna make a getaway. do that again. <laughs> the character portraits are really funny. <laughs> she knew my name, so it must have been Alicia. Hmm, what's this? Hmm? Could this be the crystal that Alicia was talking about? Hmm. Waffle found the red crystal. Hey, Panta! Hey, how's it going, Panta? Catch any black cats? Uh, no, but I've got a message from headquarters. Okay. I understand you chased away the black cats gang. Excellent job, Waffle. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. From now on, you're in charge of the black cats case. What about his vacation? Well, yeah, but I was gonna... Are you nuts? There's no way you're taking a vacation while people need your help. Well, there goes his vacation. What? But I'm on vacation. Your vacation is cancelled until you capture the Black Cats gang. Oh, man. Send the captured kittens to headquarters with a police robos transporter. We'll keep you updated. Report back to headquarters with your updates. Got it? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Chief, the black cats dropped this crystal. What should I do? What's that? Stop wasting time with your crystals and find those kittens! Uh... Yes, yes sir. sir. Eh. I'm sorry for all the trouble you went through, Officer Waffle. I may not be very big, but I'm determined to help you. If we team up, we could nail the black cats day. Thanks, Panta. Thanks, Panta. Well then, I think I'll go and talk to the townspeople again. 
<laughs> Good idea. The scissors room. I'll never forgive him. Oh no, I'm all dirty. I need to take a bath. <laughs> Who's there? Huh? Who's this? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I startle you? What are you doing here? His name is Fool? Hmm. Well, well, well. This isn't like you at all. The Priss sisters of the Black Cat's gang have been beaten by a stupid cop, eh? You've wasted all the wonderful weapons I've given you. He was tougher than we thought, that's all. We'll get him next time. You will collect all five crystals hidden throughout Prairie. As you promised, right? Yeah, whatever. You just better keep your part of the bargain. Yes, of course. I'm just a simple merchant. So, credibility means everything to me. I don't like that guy. I don't like him. He, he smells like fish. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fool. And what are these five crystals hidden throughout Prairie? But anyway... Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out here. But anyway, I think we're gonna save right here, and we're gonna call it a session. Alright? Alright, save my data. And save completed. Alrighty. I think that's gonna do it for this little session I have of uh, Tail Concerto. I will call it a session, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Tail Concerto. Uh, until then, this is Leo Hightower. I am so happy to relive this game after all this time. Until we meet again, peace out!